Howdy, I'm B. Let me welcome you to the Beer Snobs Radio Show. We are a bunch of friends who are not experts, but we know we like in beer. Our definition of a beer snob is someone who just won't drink craft beer. So sit back and listen to us blind review beers on the Beer Snobs Radio Show. Calling all beer snobs, I am B, and I want to walk you to the wonderful Beer Snobs 3rd, 7th, 5th anniversary episode! Yay. Sixth. What? We've agreed that it is officially, we finished, we've completed our sixth year of doing the show. And we're going Th- to- Third year since the reboot. Yeah, third year since the reboot, six years since we first started when we had a laptop and we're talking into it without any legit mics and sounding horribly. Yeah. <laughs> if you can, you can look around the internet and find some of those episodes, actually. And, Please uh, don't. Uh, yeah, don't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not w- w- worth doing it. But at the table we have, to my left. Shauna. Across the table. Big Rob. To my right. Damon. Okay. Uh, guys, again, seven, this is our seventh, going on our seventh year of actually having having that title of being a beer snob having authority of that word for the show and uh three years since the reboot i'm curious that since you you know i'm, I'm sure we all had business cards we went to people so hey we're beer snobs what has been the best experience you have gotten when you have let people know that you've been doing this podcast or what has been your favorite memory of all this stuff i'll start off I got two simple ones. My favorite experience so far is actually getting to 100 episodes. I thought that was awesome that we did on the last one. And that was really, really impressive that we were able to continue something for so long uh, and knock it out for one, two years straight of just putting out episodes. That was great. Uh, my other one is just actually being actively pursued by other people to talk about beer. Uh, I got to judge a beer, com- a beer, I had to be in a beer tasting competition. I had a couple of other uh, shows want to talk to us and we did some cross promotion with them. We actually got invited to work on a magazine. Uh, we have done a lot of cool things. We actually got some free beer here and there too. And it's been a fun trip for the seven, six, whatever years. <laughs> Shauna? I got two uh, ones as well. Um, the one that first comes to mind is when we went to congregation with a uh, half and then, uh, you know, the owner or brewer or whatever, he just like jumped up and he was like standing on like a, what was it? A table or something. And just talking to everybody. And it was just basically a media event. And it was just, it, it felt like really awesome. I really loved being there. Everybody was really enthusiastic and enthusiastic about the same things that we were. And then um, the other thing is when, um, you know, me and Hef have gone to a lot of breweries by ourselves and handed out cards. And it's always really great when um, after we hand out the cards, like just a day later, those uh, breweries are following us on us various social media platforms. It's just like until we review them, <laughs> <laughs> they want to know if we're <laughs> bitching about them or not. But <clears throat> at yeah. least they 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 care in some sort of way. Yeah. So yeah. that's the most important thing. That's our main goal is we want to make sure that, you know, they care about us, the drinker, and want to know why we didn't like it or did like it. Damon, actually, come back to me, Rob. I think my favorite moment that happened on this show was the couple of months that Damon left. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh my! What an <laughs> asshole! Ah, uh, I know my no. favorite moment now. <laughs> I know my favorite moment now. No, my uh, uh, my favorite thing is the free beer. The, oh, because yeah. we not just here at the show and drinking our beers, when it was but free. I mean going out, having a, uh, going to different places. They find out who you are, leaving events with trunkfuls of beer, uh, going to breweries and having the owner come up here, try this beer, try that beer. I mean, going to different places and having people just give you stuff and try to get you to taste their best and all that is just a great feeling and a great experience. Clarification: There is no such thing as free beer on the show no. we pay for it no we i know we pay now for we that. do uh okay uh so Damon, what about you uh honestly um i haven't had any of those big time moments like you motherfuckers have i've been i've gone out to a few breweries and I've talked to a few people and and chatted them up about it about the show and all that but i never really had any of those experiences i honestly i think uh i get a little get a little sappy here uh the the best part about the show is just being able to do something that we would have had fun doing it anyway. I was just sitting around here with friends and drinking beer. And, God, and my heart is swelling. It should three, th- <laughs> three, three times its size that day. And uh, <laughs> it might be a heart attack. Just, yeah. That, just, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that swelling heart thing. You want to get that looked at. Um, but no, just sitting around with, with good friends and, and drinking drinks that we like drinking some good beers, having some, uh, you know, talking about it and, and being able to share that with people. I just, I really like that idea. And I know six years down, 
Um, I think the best is still yet to come. I, I think, uh, you know, we got an announcement at the end of the show, uh, and, uh, that will be exciting. And, uh, uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, just being here, being with you guys doing this show, uh, has been the best part of it. All right. Uh, beer number one. Beer number one. Sorry. Anybody need a hanky? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> just me? Just me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> just you. <laughs> it, you know, you know what else I miss? I miss little Rob. He was way more entertaining than you. This beer is, uh, different. I, I, I taste the. Uh, I feel like it tastes a pale. It feels like a pale to me. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, it is kind of a different pale. Yeah. It's not, not as hop strong as I was expecting, nor, I mean, a nice golden color and everything, but it's just, it feels like a pale. The hops are, the hops are there. They're just not like. Prominent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which makes me think it's not just your basic shit pale lager. There's hops. I can taste hops in it. That's pretty much it. It's just almost like a shit pale locker, but it's, it's there's hops. Not just that. There's that tartness to it. There's a, some tartness to it that makes your mouth water. It's I'm trying to nail down what that is. Probably one of the hops, maybe. Could it be that tartness comes from a citrus they're trying to get out, and they might have, they thought it was IPA? But I, I would if this might was an IPA, be. this is a really no, yeah, this weak IPA. It would know. be. I don't think it's even that complex. Yeah. I think yeah, I think we're gonna take. I think we're gonna find out what this is and be like, ah, what an anniversary show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the anniversary Hef's revenge. <laughs> he just smiled. That means something's wrong with these beers. I think he peed in them. Uh, Great. <laughs> and Again. reveal Corona it's left in the sun. <laughs> With a little Not pee. too far off. For With a little three pee. three years. For three <laughs> years since the reboot. This is a uh, Full Sail Brewing LTD Lager Series number four, Pale Bach. It's a Heller Bach. So there's like how many different things going on here? I don't know, but it's only 97 <laughs> cents a bottle. It's a Pale Heller Lager. Yeah. Bach. Bach. Well, what do you get when you brew an elegant Pale Bach with one, with one select barley? The single malted beers. This pale bock is finally balanced with a single malt, single hop lager that is pale and golden colored and brewed with just pale malt and is pleasantly hopped with just Willamette hops. Now, 7%, kind of interesting concept. Yeah. One hop, one malt, and that's it. Wow. And it, we did say it was a pale. Yeah. And it tastes like a pale. And that's why we probably didn't think it was so, so what's the right word? I hate, I don't want to use complex for Rob's sake. No, uh, but <laughs> you know what? I did not expect lager. I expected lager. That that yeah, actually kind of yeah, I would say so. There's lagerish to no, it. No, you can taste it after knowing, but I didn't see it coming, and so well, you uh, could taste it after knowing. I I actually said it was pale. Well, we and knew lager. it was pale. And lager. I said well, lager. we all said pale, and I said lager too. Okay, I didn't hear that. Yeah, because you weren't listening. Shit. Because you, yeah, no, we, we get the playback if you really don't believe me. But yeah, I said it was lager. <laughs> well, you know, I I, I think it's different. I like the fact that now this is a way you can probably single out those flavors whenever we start drinking again. Drinking a beer with a, with a Willamette hop. Now we're going to know, oh, that's that hot flavor we've tasted in this one. Or drinking that pale pale malt. I mean, we were able to pick the malt out really quick. That was simple. But that one hop and not having like the cascade of uh, hop brilliance you get when you have something or like that. cascade hops. Yeah. It, it, it's it's kind of interesting. And I, I would think this is something that would be awesome for uh, just a beginner set. Well, this like, is this like, is this is the answer to all of the beers that we've been trying lately from the breweries that really have been trying. I'll, you can almost say too hard, which is take it down to basics. You know, just take it down one one element. Not trying to be too snazzy. Just try to get that one element down. And uh, I mean, it really tastes like they did. Yeah, it, it tasted decent. I, mean, we, I didn't think we yeah. it, did it. Slammed it. it it's a solid. I mean, as a pale, it's a solid pale. Odd for a buck, but yeah, but um, but still a solid pale. Without a doubt, for at least in my opinion, Big Rob, anything you want to add? No, no, it's. I think they did a great job of what they were attempting to do. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, it's like a glowing review from us. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, no, it's, no, it's like they did it solid. Didn't hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Bring on the next beer. A solid, solid review from us. Be for real. Okay, what about the bottle? What about the bottle? Uh, it, it's part it's, of this series. Check out the neck of it, though. It's. That is weird. That is a weird. Can I see that? Yeah. Uh, it, it's like, it's weird. It's like a, a mountain bridge. 
<laughs> like no, the, it's weird. It's and it's weird because like if you look at the actual label, it's just kind of gray with a lighter framing, and then it, it you know it's yeah, got, it's, it's a all, little it's, complicated. It's it's, just, it's just a lot of words, right? And it's it doesn't match, and it doesn't match the little bridge thing. It's really weird. I don't get that. Although I don't mind it for some reason. Yeah. I, it just it, it obviously doesn't match, but I mean, it, it looks like the full cell ESB that they do. Uh, it is uh the. Or the brewer share bottles, yeah, where they have their their beers that they make that's just made for the uh, for the brewer share, the one the brewer went berserk on, and I, it's like looks like a, like a lesser version of that. I, I, I accept that. I think it's it's not bad. It's just there, and you know when you see it, you'll be like, okay, I got a simple beer that I want to enjoy right here. I'm good with that. Well, I just want to add that it, this is just really confusing to me. Full sale lager series, and then pale bock. And then I, I don't know. I'm just it, it's just too much going on. <laughs> it's just uh, w- how am I going to pick this up in a store? It, 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 who's going to pick this up in the store? Are they going to pick it up because it, the, the word loggers on it? Or are they going to pick it up because pale or Bach is on it? It's or just, the number four. It's yeah. a pale Hellas. Just think of it as a pale Hellas that okay. covers the whole thing. Maybe pale Hellas Bach. Well, it's got a whole bunch of other things, but the Bach, Hellas has Bach very common, and it, Hellas beers are often Bachs. And so, uh, they, uh, they, and they Hellas just, beer is a simple beer. Yet they uh, chose to frame that. They didn't choose to frame they, Hellas, though, which is weird in the title, which you, you, you would have thought that maybe they would have called it a pale Hellas. They just made it really but confusing. You, yeah, they, made, they, yeah, they confused yeah. the title. They kind of, you know. I, I definitely see that. I'm just saying that's how you need to look at it. Which, just look at it as the pale which Hellas. Which is and, messed up okay. because it's not how people who go to the store are going to look at it because they're yeah. not going to see the word Hellas on it. <laughs> they're going to see the word pale and they're going to see Bach. And then you know, lager when obviously, and be like, what? <laughs> when, obviously, you know, um, full sale. You just need to just completely redesign everything because Big Rob said you should call it a Hellas because that's what it is and that would be simpler. There you go. That is what it is, and a Hellas, the very definition of it is a simplistic lager. Yeah, that's lager. what this is. You can't get any more simplistic. But the bottle doesn't make it sound simplistic. No, it does not. Because <laughs> everything's got their own description, you know. Beer number two? Beer number two. <laughs> Be not even out of Next beer. Fuck it. <laughs> that was his way of saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it, this is a really weird, really weird smell. Barley wine. Oh yeah, that is heavy. I haven't but had it's a lot sweet. of I haven't had a lot of barley wine. But it's so. a sweet smell. There's a sweet and there's a sweetness to it. A sweet hop. Yeah, it, it, probably a barley wine. Hopefully. Look at the way it coats the the glass though. Look at that. That is beautiful. Like not a huge yeah. head on it, but I mean, Ooh. it coats barley wine. This means it's nice and thick. <laughs> Actually, not that thick. It tastes well barley wine esque, but yeah. No, it's I mean, not quite there. It's got a good, you know what? It's got a really good balance to it. It does. I like this. It's got a nice, yeah, a little bit too much hops in the back end, but just I'm, barely, just barely. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed by the taste. I mean, I, I like I said, I don't really drink a lot of barley wines, but this just seems very hoppy. This, this it's the, no, I like this. I think this is a faux barley wine. So you're telling uh, as a faux barley wine, would it be like what four percent? No, a. F- Maybe a higher percent. I could taste the alcohol a little bit, but mm. I'd say it's, this is like a six. Because most barley wines I drink are like nine and 12. Yeah, I don't this, think is this is like a, a six, four. I don't think this is a, a barley six, wine. five. I think this is a well-blended IPA. But yeah, this is an IPA, well-blended, and it's got that barley wine taste to it. It's like they tried to create it in, but it didn't go through the process. It's, it didn't go through I the I get the barley wine smell. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know that you does, might be mistaking it as a barley wine because it might just be a high ABV. I don't think That happens. That does happen. I don't think it's that high of an APV, though. I think uh, this is like a 6.5. Uh, I don't know. I'm maybe getting hit pretty kind of hard. Maybe I'm thinking this, I'm, I'm thinking close to eight personally. Maybe maybe something. I like think eight. like eight. It, it, you, when you take a big gulp of it, you yeah. can, you could taste the alcohol. It's a pretty strong. It's a it's a big beer. No no doubt about it. I I, I think I I, I like yeah. what Damon said about how it's a well blended IPA. I I think that might yeah. be it. With yeah. a little heavy on the hops, but not too much. But but I. <laughs> I know, I, I think no, it, I the think hops are great. This is very No, no, it's just, it's just a little bit on the back end. There's a little too much on the back end, but I, I'm I'm being nitpicky when I say that. I'm not even saying it's too much. Like you, like you, you know, feel it's dry sense. hopped at the end, right? They dry yeah. hopped yeah. at the end. Yeah. I'm just not liking, um, God, where's my train of thought? <laughs> I, I'm just not liking how they 
presented the hops. It just seems like presented the hops and the malt. Like an afterthought. That's what, you know, that's what I, I'm the, See, I'm the taste I got. It I, The hops came way later. I'm well, not, yeah. It, it came way came early way for later, me. but it's not, it's not as an afterthought. It's a well blend. I think it was a purposeful combination. That they no, did. it's the, the, the hops came in as kind of a two strike. They, a really slow blend in the initial taste. <laughs> And then it kind of takes over in the aftertaste a little, too, just a tiny bit too much. But uh, overall, I mean, no, I think this is a really good blend. For an I, IPA, you're saying this is too much. This isn't even a kick to the teeth. No, this no, is no, barely no. a slap to the face. I know. I'm, 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 I'm again. When I say a little bit too well, much, yeah. When I say a little bit too much, I mean like you know, adding a marble to the scale when you're standing on it a little too much. Like it's not that much, but it's just a little more than you'd expect. You know, just a, just a tiny lot bit. less than I would expect One for an second. IPA if that's what it is. Shauna, you really want to get on this? They, they cut you off. What else you want to say about this? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't. I don't really know. Like, I have a lot of thoughts going through my head. It's just um, the combination of the malt and the combination of the hops. When I first smelled this, I just smelled a weird stew. I guess you could say. And when I tasted it, it wasn't. It, the hops weren't an mm-hmm. afterthought. It got into my face that's what i could say and then when i tasted it it just felt like a weird it felt like a weird stew again it just i know everybody else is saying it's well blended and they're probably right but then again i don't drink barley wines that often but it's just this is just a really weird exotic thing to me i guess it just doesn't make any sense to me so you think this is an over blended ipa is uh, that not like we were saying? Well or, blended. Do you think about, this about, is overtly blended? Not everybody likes blended. On? Not everybody yeah. likes their beers blended, though. Maybe is that what you mean? You, want, you like it, you I, like specific standout flavors? What I would say is, I think it's a barley wine, but it's got a lot of hops in it. The hops were the main priority in this barley wine, maybe. And that's if it was barley wine. Do you think it's a barley wine? I, I don't think it's a barley wine. I'm not sure. I think it's a phrase it, that it, tends it, to be overused by people. Like I said, like I don't know barley wines that well. Well, yeah, no, it's it's the thing is a lot of people tend to use that word a little too much to describe beers that have a higher bitterness level or higher ABVs because they tend to. Barley wines have both. Um, I don't think this is a barley wine. I, I, and it's really, yeah, it's a phrase, it's a phrase we really got to cut down on, on using when, when we're not sure. I mean, it, it, we'll find out if it is a barley wine help man, whatever, then I'm wrong. Uh, if, but I, I just really think this is probably just a higher level uh, blended IPA. What we have is the Lagunitas Brewing Company Undercover Investigations Shut Down Ale. Style, American Strong Ale, hmm. 9.75%. Then there we go. See, I told you I was hit a little bit. Wow. Okay, uh, we brewed this especially bitter ale in remembrance of the 2005 St. Patrick's Day Massacre and the com- commemoration of our 20-day suspension that followed. ABC concluded on an undercover investigation of our brewery, us finding us guilty of operating disorderly house. We did the crime. We did the time. We got the bragging rights. <laughs> I don't care what they do. These guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Lagunitas makes some pretty amazing beers. Uh, actually, I think they're number 20 in the country for uh, biggest craft brew. I think that's pretty cool that they actually made a beer over the time they got caught by ABC doing some shit that wasn't right. So. Well, I think this is my first beer by them that's not a fucking IPA. <laughs> Oh, let's try. <laughs> no, look at it. Okay. There's a little there's a little note, really tiny print that's around this bottle. We brewed this especially bitter ale in dedication to all of the world's would be astronauts in remembrance of the 2005 St. Patrick's Day massacre on the brewery party grounds and also enjoy a celebration of our 20 day suspension that that following January. What what massacre? I'm do the am crime I behind. Do the crime. Do the time. Get the bragging rights. Cheers. There's a little tiny message scrawled around the label. Well, we don't have to Google this. Whatever happened. 2005. So I yeah, feel like 2005 I'm behind. St. Patrick's Day massacre uh, on the brewery. Oh, party you it, it, did something happen in Boston or something? Wait, I'm confused. I bet you that no, no. big old party. Okay. No, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was probably they, they called the St. Patrick's Day Massacre. It sounds like, yeah, a bunch of beers uh, getting killed. <laughs> a bunch of beers getting killed. That'd be. Wow, well, I'm pretty slow. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was just, yeah, maybe it was just like they're having a big party. Okay. Well, no, you know, you're not slow. 9.7 by volume, 66.6. That's why I'm slow. 66.6 IBUs. So not that, bad. That's where the hops came yeah. from. That's where the alcohol came from. That's where all the barley wine, co- the barley wine talk came from. The fact that it was fucking strong. I think it was the strong alcohol yeah. and the I strong hops. Yeah, just gotta remember for, for, for that was really weird to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Okay. What were you saying? I, I was just saying the strong alcohol and the strong hop content was just that. I think that's why I was like, this is kind of like a stew, a really weird stew, a well, very unorganized stew. 
Well, I mean, the, 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 it, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe you're just really not into the to beers that blend like that, and that, that's your personal that's your personal choice. I well, you don't have yeah. to. You it don't depends have to on like what you mean by blend. I mean, when it's a bunch of flavors that are mixed together to the point where nothing's actually standing out as much as the collective taste on the whole of the drink. Okay. So, because I think maybe, maybe, and this is just a guess, and you could say I'm wrong or I'm not, but maybe uh, you just like something where certain flavors stand out more, where you can taste that. In the yeah, beer. I would say that. I like that with my food as well. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's maybe that's all it is, and and I like it when it tastes like this. You're just not really fond of that meshing. That's, I, that's but stew, I do as like as you, some beers that really do blend together too. Yeah. It just depends. Just well, <laughs> well, American Strong Ales, for example, is a, a stone arrogant bastard right there. That's kind of, yeah, mm-hmm. I kind of feel like that. It's just, it, it's it's like Arian Besser. It's just totally, it's got a different taste to it. it. It has a different taste and it's toned down. I actually like this better than Arrogant Bastard, I think. I, I, yeah, I, I really this, like Arrogant Bastard, but I'm going to have to agree with you. This it's, has a lot more mellow and more interesting blend and it's not as in your face. Now, Arrogant Bastard is purposefully so. Mm-hmm. But I think this is really well done. Well, guys, uh, for our anniversary show, we had two different beers. We had the Full Cell LTD Lager, and we had the Lagunitas Undercover Investigation Shutdown Ale. Big Rob, what was your favorite tonight? Well, we had a beer that was a lot better than you would expect and was pretty decent, and then one that was freaking great. So that's a really easy choice with the Undercover Ale wins. Damon? I got to give it to the Lagunitas uh, Undercover as well. That was... I was that was a damn fine blend. I loved it. Shauna. It, it really depends on um, the event of which I could choose these beers. The Lagunitas is new to me. It, 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 it's not like something I've ever tasted before other than Arrogant Bastard. Um, and I'm intrigued. The Full Sail is also kind of like weird, but it really depends on the event. But for a regular regularly what i'm doing i want something lighter so i'm gonna go and be a wild card and say that i like the full sale okay and by the way it's not that did you dislike the full sale no no not at all and neither fact, did I. that's probably the one i'm gonna buy first simply because <laughs> it's something i will enjoy with my wife oh there you go okay and uh i think the full sale was great i think the lagunitas was great I think Lagunitas did a really good American Strong. And yes. I, I think like two bottles of that, you're pretty good for the night. It surprised the shit out of me. I did not Two bottles that. of that, you, you probably don't need anything else. And <clears throat> you can session that, in my opinion. Session, get two bottles of that session. <laughs> That's your session? That's a hell of a session, session man. Your two, your two bottles is your session for the night. <laughs> or <laughs> three I'm gonna and se- pass out. I'm yeah. going yeah, <laughs> to session two of these. Yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I think the undercover investigation, investigation shut down ale was... Pretty damn good beer. Full sale. You did a really good job. So, beer of the show, undercover, investigation, shut down, ale. Uh, so, Damon has an announcement for us. Oh, yeah. Um, This uh, anniversary show is going to mark one of the last times you're probably going to hear our regular uh, double blind shows. Starting on our next episode, we will be expanding into something we talked about on, on the uh, website. I think at least brought up once in a post. Uh, we're going to do segments. And uh, we're going to, there's going to be, I think we're working on a new intro, like the whole nine yards. The The show's going to change up a little bit. Not like a reboot or anything, but um, yeah, it's going to be uh, more stuff to talk about. Uh, we're going to concentrate on uh, blind reviewing one beer a show uh, with the segments filling in the rest of the, the gaps uh, to make this more informative, entertaining, interesting experience every week. Something a little bit different. Uh, we'll bring up the double blinds though. It's not the last time you'll ever hear it. Blinds are it's so just, much fun. The double, I mean, we're still going to do blinds. We're just not going to do, we're not going to do the doubles as much. It's not going to be a regular occurrence anymore. It's going to be special occurrence. But um, just want to announce it. Yeah. Um, more interesting, cool stuff to come from the beer snobs. We taste it. You decide. Congratulations. Happy six years, guys. Yeah, happy six years. I want to give a couple shout outs to people who have done us pretty good in the, in the past. And uh, just want to say thank you to beer quest for uh Support what we do. Hell yeah. Uh, actually, thank you to Beer Buzz. You guys were there earlier, too. Uh, and thank you to Craft Beer Magazine for putting us in the magazine. Thank and, you very much. And yeah. actually starting to pay us soon. <laughs> and uh, thank you to all the breweries out there who are just doing this out of the love and at least have thick enough skin for us to start drinking their beer. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. There's some of you I know and some of you that I don't know personally. But Yeah, yeah. Th- thanks to everybody who takes time to listen to the show. 
Yeah, yeah, you too. Oh, yeah. Tell your friends. Yeah. The most important person. The most important people yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Subscribe good, on good YouTube. Good job. Good job. <laughs> don't don't thank the people who listen. Good, good job. I only met one fan <laughs> so far, and that was when I was in uh, Seattle. So no, we've, had a, we've had a fan on the show. Yeah, we had a, we, yeah, we met him later, but I met a fan in Seattle when I was standing in the line just talking. Awesome. He's like, your voice sounds familiar. Are you on a show called The Beer Snobs? What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am, actually. Who yep. the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm from Texas. I've been listening to you guys for a while awesome <laughs> let's go drink <laughs> so dude if you're out there and you go back to pax this year you'll see me again um but yeah i'm b and i'll see you at the bar toodles peace out i'll feed his name calling all beer snobs i am b and you just heard one of our shows guess what else you can do you can find us on the interwebs at twitter facebook g plus and we're on the stitcher radio network be our friend on our social networks and find out what we're up to and find interesting beer articles we're releasing if you want to advertise with the beer snobs you can contact us at marketing at the if you want to give us beer suggestions you can find us at info at the or any of the social networks you can reach us and as always i'll see you at the Bye.